Okie dokie. Well, it's nice to get a near-death experience out of the way good and early in the stream here. Definitely gets the, the brain rolling. Though, with that being said, DCSS, we've now gone our near-death experience, so if the rest of this could be a, a nice little home run, swoop through the rest of the dungeon, please and thank you. I will take my free win now, please. Please give me my free win now, please. We shall see how it goes. But a few different ug very ugly things, as long as they don't turn into the worst combinations of elemental effects there, we should be all right. And indeed, we do end up being, let's say fine. Not great necessarily, but we're alive. We're still uh, rumbling our way through here. Doesn't get much better than that at our current stage in the game. And go back to our lovely little kill hallway of destruction here love to see it and this time around as we hit our next skill cap maybe a bit of fighting give us a bit more max hp to work with here a little more wiggle room and while we're at it invo can take a hit as well just to make sure we're fully prepped prepared and good to go for when luganu does eventually grace us with their presence which should hopefully be relatively soon here we did hit that level 20 before the end of the floor, just as we were hoping for, so that's fantastic. Um, hmm. Now that I've gone all of you kids excited here, I'm tempted to teleport out, but potentially instead what we should do is bring out Condenser Vein, which unfortunately gives lightning clouds, which is the one thing that I was not looking for in this situation. The main purpose of those clouds was, of course, to take care of the, uh, the spark wasps. Lightning bees? Maybe spark wasps was right. Uh, but take care of them before they took advantage of our severe lack of resistance in that department. I mean, at the moment, we're not doing horribly in that regard, because at the very least, we have Quaslal to uh, kind of shore up any of our weaknesses in terms of, you know, defenses and resistances specifically. But want to be slightly, I mean, in general, we need to be cautious of relying on that too much. And as mentioned, or as kind of started that little blurb, we definitely just need to be aware that we will be losing any and all of that effect when we do eventually make the change change make a change and beautiful oh this was a chabriados altar setup good for you buddy i'm glad you're you're getting yours out there congratulations and let us head to our gate hey do a quick check was there any regen we left behind i mean magic regen functionally kind of does the same thing Wait, do I not? I don't have any amulet on? This is... Is that the only amulet in the game, or have I just been ignoring the rest? Not much better than being the only amulet of the game. Um, okay. I guess we'll take it. <laughs> Again, nothing is better than something. Or the absence of. Therein, therefore. Ipso facto. And other... Intelligent seeming words, not intelligent words. Let's not let's not go too far and above here. But at least gives the illusion. Unfortunately, not so much to most of you, since I'm pretty confident that all of you are just geniuses, of course. Not one dumb person uh, watches the stream. And don't know where this joke is going. I was hoping, you know when you pilot something out and you just hope that eventually you stumble your way into a landing. Unfortunately, sometimes it crashes and burns. <laughs> or at least by my standards, it's a crash and burn. Hey Brain, how's it going? How are things going with you? Still playing a decent amount of... Finals? 
Took me a minute, but got there eventually. And okie dokie. Before we head into the abyss, we might as well clear up. What is this dumb erasure we exist? Apologies. Apologies to all my idiots out there. Love ya. Love you to death. <laughs> of course, of course. Can't... Where would I be without the dum-dums? <laughs> Myself included, of course. Yeah, doing good and been enjoying it? Nice. I still haven't had the chance to try it out. Lately, my partner, uh, out of the blue on Friday, suggested that we try out the new game Pal World. And I had heard nothing about it. I'm not super active on any kind of social media, so I hadn't seen all the hubbub or the buzz. So we decided to try that out, and that has been sweeping up the majority of our time the last few days, because we've been playing that together and having a good time. But eventually I'll get around to playing finals. Potentially we'll have to wait for my, my younger sister, who I normally play those style of games with, is currently on a, a world trip. So unfortunately, it makes it a little bit tricky to, uh, to get in solid game time. But I should stop trying to inventory manage and talk at the same time, because it's not going well. And instead, let's just decide, put of the assassin, that can go for now. Temporarily. Positive energy in our elect, we probably want to have as optional switches as we go through this uh, potentially harrowing journey through the abyss. Okie dokie. Yeah, power came out of nowhere for you too. Looks like it shouldn't be as good as it is apparently. <laughs> I would say so. I mean, there's still, you know, it's very early on. Lots of little bugs. Most of the bugs at this point are kind of just more fun and silly than anything else. Uh, we've been really lucky potentially on that front. And there's still, you know, it's relatively shallow, seeing as how it's very early on. I'm also curious if it potentially started out as a, a kind of parody game and then they realized as they were making it how incredible <laughs> It could actually be and kind of took it that direction, but my favorite descriptions of it at the moment are that it's kind of a cross between something like Ark or Valheim, both of, of which I enjoyed thoroughly, and obviously Pokemon for the monster collection, but surprisingly more so RimWorld is the, the feeling it's given me. It's like twinging that same part of my brain that RimWorld does in terms of the colony sim, and you know, once you get everything set out in front of you you just watch the magic work automation is a beautiful thing it's automation yeah more in line of something like rim world than say like your factorios of the world that are 100 percent dedicated to that ideal so no definitely is a lot of fun been enjoying the ever living crap out of it and compared to dcss a lot of games are shallow literally and figuratively true true it's nice when you can abstract away a lot of the graphical requirements and focus on those sweet, sweet mechanics, baby. I mean, it's why we're it's why we're all here in the first place, right? But okie dokie. Well, I'm blabbing my way off into the, the next dimension here. We did come across the Luganu Altar of Our Dreams. Do I take this now? I think so. Time to burn some bridges, baby see what happens <laughs> hey Luganu do, am I sure I want to abandon Quaslal? unfortunately I am Quaslal does not appreciate desertion do any of us but okie dokie um, I think we are just seeing gateways down if I remember correctly yes that does seem to be the case you know going off the one data point good science hell yeah brother but we'll take that for now and Oh, I could just depart the abyss, right. Would cost a big chunk of piety, but I'm not loving abyss at this point. I kind of want to finish off depths and vaults first. So, sayonara, or more aptly, see you later. And perfect. And now we can focus on the, the real part of the run here. We finally accomplished what we set out to do from our first steps into the dungeon here no exactly saying Raz. not many games have the 15 plus 4 
Plus five? I mean, doesn't seem as much. It's nothing compared to the early days, back in the, the good old days of 27 whole layers of dungeon. Oh, me oh my. Not that I can say much, I don't think I ever made it down that far in those early stages of the game, but... I miss the old depth. Not really at all, but... Again, I'm, uh, I'm finding my comedic chops here today. Apparently that's where all of my thoughts go to die at this moment in time, so that's great. Doing fantastic out here. And okie dokie. What do we wish to do? I think we'll start off by heading to vaults. Let's distract away from my horrible attempts at humor and instead focus on the game in front of us. That's that's a nice backup with streaming, specifically with streaming video games, is you always have a little bit of a safety net. Luganu just took you. Oh my gosh. I did not realize that's how this would work. So I believe what happened there, and we can take a peek. Quaslaw brought a bunch of friends to the party. Luganu countered this, and not only did they counter that, but their banishment also took the Yaktar? Is there some kind of weird mind-bending strategy where you swap to Luganu, then head directly to the Abyss, try to trigger or hope that Penance triggers right in the moments that you're fighting the Panlords, and then you can just free banishment, baby? Especially since I'm assuming Luganu doesn't check willpower or anything like that. The power of a god kind of makes things a little more straightforward in terms of uh, removing folks from this very plane of existence, or at least one would assume so. I guess potential argument against that is that we're often thrown at least a fragment of Luganu's power our direction with any distortion branded weapon, and that doesn't always work. But is the essence of a god truly comparable to their uh, their own might? I'd say the science just isn't quite there yet. Okay, fear scroll to start off. Let's get some of these sons of guns to uh, back off. Back off right now, please. Thank you. And we can kind of tuck ourselves into our nice little hidey hole here. Though now that the preserver is gone, I think we should do pretty all right against the remaining enemies is largely just my own ineptitude in positioning getting surrounded by all of our new friends and watching the world burn from there fantastic well not too shabby okay nice to know my reflection branded shield is not quite making the cut when it comes to entire packs of arrow launching equines but a start at least not too too bad definitely probably saves our lives here or there seeing as how we would have it's a weird way of saying that word we would have been taking probably about twice as much damage if we hadn't been so uh so inclined yikes do you hate me a reaver pal Let's pop in here, and then at the very least what we can do is bring out the, the Ice Blast, some unavoidable damage, and do a veritable who's who of, of damage here. And swap over to the Lightning Rod as well, seeing as how Lightning Rod, another one of those nice weapons that cannot miss. And so we'll definitely take full advantage of that bad boy. Fantastic. You'll say it's pretty wise, or it was pretty wise, to exit the Abyss right away. If memory serves, the Lucy conversion just gives barely enough PD to do so. I do think you're correct, because I did give myself a crash course on Lucy uh, last week, right before we started this run, and I do recall seeing that statistic. So definitely could have, yeah, in our exploring, could have unfortunately lost just enough PD to uh, to reverse our progress there, and we definitely could have found ourselves in slightly hot water. But regardless, just happy to be out and at him here. And look at that, we're already back up to more PD than we had in the first place. Banishment is a nice option for us now. In fact, that's something I definitely need to keep in mind. 
Man, what? Lugano is awesome. <laughs> what is Lugano's penance? Does Lugano send you to the abyss or anything? Because is there any credence to the idea of using Lugano as a stepping stone? Specifically, if you're going from a god, I know a few of them have the kind of are labeled the worst penances or the most difficult to deal with. Why not pop a Luganu in there on your way to whoever you want to end up with? That's, of course, unassuming or hoping rather that Luganu is not one of the, the deities on that that list of terrifying options for penance seen as how that would pretty much discredit the entire strategy from working in the first place. Definitely take you kids upstairs though, fantastic. You remember it was a thing on the old Abyssal Night starts where if you explore the abyss too long, your pity would drain before they nerf that start. I kind of missed that start. I remember the strat back in the day for that was that you start Abyssal Night and then you try to explore the abyss to grab treasure. This was back in the day when Abyss was a bit more treasure heavy and you just hope that you could squeeze out a couple of extra things here potentially even find like a nice little magical piece of equipment before inevitably hauling tail out of there before getting your crap absolutely smashed by anything and everything down there because while I may have been bulking at the idea of level 18 in the Abyss I can't imagine Level one, uh, going any better? Bit of an understatement, but we'll stick with that thought pattern for now. And yeah, St. Rast, you mentioned that as well. There used to be a strat where you walked around. I do remember that for sure. You think they started in a fake kindergarten abyss now? Yeah, in the versions that they existed before their removal, it was no longer beneficial really to just stick around in quite that capacity. But I do have some fond memories from back in the day, for sure. Yeah, that's correct. And then since AK disappeared, you guess? True Lucy's uh, penance is either bad teleportation, banish, or spawns nasties near you? Hmm. Interesting. So that seems pretty par for the course. <laughs> oh, I wish. The ring mail of Quaslal. Writhing. Oh, I bet they are. After getting abandoned by yours truly, I'm sure anyone would be, uh, writhing in their boots doesn't quite hit as much as shaking, but point still stands. Oh my gosh, cold resistance, regen, and strength. Thank you. Immediately throw that bad boy on. Our amulet dreams have been answered here. And Saint, you didn't even realize they removed it? Funnily enough, I too did not realize they removed it until yesterday when starting these very, or this very series of runs as I desperately scrolled through the, the background choice multiple times trying to find where the, uh, where did the Abyssal Knight escape to? Why can't I read? It's very quick to blame myself for that, but it turned out they were removed. I think a couple versions back. Uh, potentially, actually it was either like Reaver in the latest version, or this version I should say, 0 0.30, is that when Reaver came out? Is it 0.29? I've lost my mind completely. Have I lost my memory? Well that's the problem, is I don't really remember, so. Bit of a catch-22 there if you ask me. Yes, unfortunately they were removed, so now you have to have to abandon people or you can play godless i guess until you get to the abyss but that seems like a a rough lot to try and and deal with hey jory kind of forgot for a moment there that i'm no longer with quaz so i can't easily delete you from existence using a a collection of electrical themed elementals Jory is oftentimes one of those tough ones, though. You can mesmerize, so if I'm getting out of here, I should do so before that comes to play. I guess 15%, not great odds. But again, to bring it back to Pal Worlds, I've been trying to catch those sons of guns with like 98% and failing those left, right, and center. So my with my luck, or rather my 
chaotic version of luck that oscillates between the extremes of stupidly lucky, getting away with things I had no right should be able to, to uh, fail in 10% like four times in a row. Hopefully we land somewhere promising there, but I don't trust it for a minute here. I mean, who wouldn't be mesmerized by our fl favorite and flavorite bloodstain count? Sometimes you just have to roll with the, he said the word wrong. But if, if Abyssal Knight got banished, who is safe? Who among us could possibly be safe any longer? No one, unfortunately. But yes, I don't think we're going to be able to fight Jory. We could try to silence with some water here, I guess. Phone a friend. I don't have a Phantom Mirror, unfortunately, so that's out. I'm tempted to fight through this. Jory's at least not Boris. You see a Boris? in your vaults you probably just turn around unless it's a 15 room game it's not worth it just walk the other way friend jory on the other hand while being very tough and very scary i should be able to at least brute force my way through as long as i don't get too many of those uh what was it 3d 37s directly to the face yikes yes 3d 37 caps out at 111 and we have 115 hp hey Plus 32 MP, which as a Vine Stalker, just as good. So how how could it possibly go wrong then? It'll be easy, right? They said. Bile floods you. Uh, you can fly, can't you? You son of a gun. But by our pirates combined, we also have our anti-magic bite, I guess, which probably should take into consideration spellcasters a little less frightening on this character, at least comparative to our usual runs. And with how easily that went, it would be tempting to feel like an idiot for overthinking things to that degree, but it's Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup, and we all know how quickly things can, can drastically take a terrible turn. Vulnerable to cold, hey? Oof. And getting a little bit surrounded, especially if Convoker starts to phone a friend here, I think we just tally out. Tally out and tally ho. Hey, Dr. Pirate, how's it going? Loved the clip you sent last week, by the way. That is exactly me. <laughs> Finding my, my lovely little shape wood piece in the garage. Fantastic. I shared it with my partner as well. They found it very amusing, but uh, I think the truth of it, or just how true it rang, probably a little more unsettling on their end than it was on mine, because they have to live with it. I at least am blind to my own follies when it comes to uh, ridiculous hoarding tendencies. Not too shabby. Okay, now we're at a slightly more manageable crossroads, or at least we will be if we shove our way into this little hidey hole. We need to be slightly slow with our attacks here just to make sure that I don't get pushed back, or rather when I do get pushed back, I want to continue the, uh, the circle here. Yikes. Well, that went terribly for a moment, but... That's definitely the expectation when you drop into the midst of a bunch of fun new friends. Do it. Let's just banish you then. Beautiful. Keep going with the deck side of things. Keep our our sword skills rumbling and rolling. And that should just about do the trick. I think we... No, actually that should be it because that warlord is already taken care of. Fantastic. <laughs> I don't like this Dr. Person Pirate. They're an enabler. No, unfortunately, they they had to see the error in their ways. I mean, after showing them such irrefutable evidence as that uh, that documentary you sent my way, that one-minute documentary, uh, they actually completely changed their tune, and now I am free to uh, to be my my best self and hoard all the things. <laughs> 